What's up, everybody? We're going to do connections for Tuesday, December 12th, 2023. I'm expecting a hard one today. I sort of feel like the previous ones have been a little bit on the easier side. So we'll see. And here we go. That looks awesome. We've got Ball Shadow, Bumper Nether, Tail Ice, Track Plunger, Cloud Flipper, Haze Trail, Thin Fog, Iron Mist. Probably Nether is the only word that gives me, that scares me a tiny bit. I guess that's sort of like the Nether regions. Yeah, I guess that's how they're using that. Or it could be some wordplay. We'll see. On the plus side, I don't really see names going on here. So I think these are more just like vocabulary based and maybe a secret phrase. So let's see if we can nail this thing um, like we have been doing for the past couple days. I don't really see anything else that matches with ball. So it might be um, a different meaning. Yeah, I don't see anything else that's ball shaped. So maybe they were going to save that for the hard category. It could be a secret phrase, right? And I don't see anything else like a party, you know, like a fancy party, like a ball. So that's probably going to go into a secret phrase or harder category. Uh, we do have some weather. We have some weather here, though. Fog, haze, mist. And then you've got the ice in the cloud. But fog, haze, and mist... They're all, uh, th that's all weather. Like, it's foggy, it's misty, it's hazy. You could say cloudy, icy, possibly. But I think that we've definitely got a category there. I'm just a little unsure about which two to, um, of those to add to it. Cloud seems better, um, because they all really are kind of like, um... Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Then we've got these interesting in ER words. We've got the flipper, the plunger, the bumper. Okay. We've got a track. We've got a trail. We've had this category before, haven't we, guys? You t When you tail somebody, you track them. You tr you trail them. You shadow them. This is to follow. I'm almost certain we've had uh, that category before. It might not have been those same four words. And I don't really think anything else matches that. I mean, do you bumper them? Not really. Yeah, he's tailing us. He's shadowing us. He's tracking us. He's trailing us. I think that's good to follow. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. A fin, a flipper, um, would be parts of a fish or just things that help you pro help propel you in the water. But that doesn't really go any further. Our easy category is definitely going to be these weather-related words. Yeah, this mist, fog, haze. I mean, I could expend a guess between the cloud and the ice. That would probably, you know, work out fine. Uh, but you never know when you could use those extra guesses down the road. We've got this ire. I just noticed that. That also sort of stands out, right? Ire. That's fury or intense anger. But that doesn't match with anything. So I think there's some shenanigans going on here. Um, there's got to be. Okay, I'm going to go for this fog, haze, mist. And I'm deciding to go with ice first. If that's wrong, then I guess we'll go with cloud. And I guess my reason is I'm going to call these like um, things that make dangerous, things that can make for dangerous driving. Uh, I don't know. That's not really necessarily true with haze, though. I don't know. Uh, okay. I, all right, guys. I got one. This is very clever. 
Uh, and this is awesome too because it will remove the ice. Uh, these are countries where you can add land. <laughs> Finland, Iceland, Netherlands, and what would be the other one? Ah, there we go. Now we can take care of the ire in Ireland. That I have to give our good friend Winnelieu, the creator of these puzzles, credit. That is an absolutely awesome, awesome uh, category. So these are countries when you add land. Perfect. Okay. That is very, very clever. I really, that, that was ingenious. Okay. And that should clear things up for us. Now we should be able to get our yellow. So we're going to go fog, mist, haze, cloud. That's obviously the yellow. And then we'll have a tricky blue that I'm not really sure what to do about. Um, but these will just be, I think you could just call these like cloudy weather patterns. Yeah, cloudy weather patterns, weather patterns that involve, you know, like there's excess moisture in the air. Murky condition? Okay. I mean, I, I think you guys are should be fine with that. I mean, I don't, I mean, it's all weather related. I don't think anybody would use the word murky um, for that, but that's fine. I think we're good. And now flipper, plunger, ball, and bumper. Would be really nice to seal this up um, for another perfect round. All right, now, first thing that comes to mind, I was thinking of like bumper boat. That doesn't quite work. Um, none of these really would be boats. Then I was thinking for some crazy reason, like parts of a toilet, that doesn't really make sense. Um, I mean, I don't know. That nah, just doesn't really make sense. I mean, the plunger is really used to fix a clog in the toilet. Um, what else comes to mind? Now, flipper and ball, if you isolate those two, the only thing that makes sense would be, um, let me think about that. A flipper, aren't those when you play pinball, um, you know, the little things that you use to keep your ball moving in the pinball machine. I don't really play pinball that much. I might have done it, you know, a few times when I was much, much younger and they were in the video arcades, which were prominent back in the 80s. So if we go with that, obviously you need a ball to play pinball. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the plunger, maybe that's the thing where you, you know, if you lose a ball and you have to get it in motion again, you know, you pull that spring back and it releases the ball. That could be correct. And bumper actually does make sense because you, you know, the ball is basically hitting a whole bunch of bumpers. So flipper, plunger, ball, bumper, I wouldn't be, I could call this maybe parts of a pinball machine. I actually kind of like that. Let's go for it. Pinball machine components. I think we'll take it, guys. Well, there you have it. Another absolutely spectacular round. Uh, I know the murky condition. My my uh, call for that was slightly murky. I think I called it like bad weather or not bad weather, but just like cloudy weather conditions. I actually think that's pretty good or where there's moisture because I think all four of those occur due to just excess moisture uh, in the air and they're all kind of like cloud related. I don't know. It They're just, you know, some weather patterns. Murky condition, you know, it's okay, but you guys let me know. I think for now I'll claim the 4.0, but if you would like to quibble with me on the murky condition, be my guest. In any case, we nailed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Can't wait to see your results. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another round of connections.